Oh, interesting. <laughs> um, like a real gift or like I can wave a magic wand and like Bitcoin goes to 100k or something <laughs> like... The perfect Christmas gift for me. <laughs> wow, billions. Billions. That's, that, that's, that's all I want. That's all I want. I love it. <laughs> 100 million dollars? <laughs> I would say uh, this year has been a roller coaster. I've had great wins um, and of course really low times as well so it's a combination. Um, this year has been very interesting for me. Very high energy, a lot has happened this year. I want to say that this is, this has been my best year yet. Hopefully I mean the goal is for like other years to be better than this one but like right now off the top of my head I think that it's been a really fantastic year. Quick, I can't believe we're in December now. I feel like it was just January. Honestly I feel like it was just 2021 so it was very very quick. But it was interesting, a lot happened and yeah quick and interesting. Well, can't complain. In 2022, it Okay, I won't start with saying it has been a rough year because like I've had really good moments as well, right? But I'll use daring, like the word daring to like describe 2022 because the decisions I've made from the start of the year to this point, you know, they have been daring. There have been things that naturally that people would not do. So yeah, my year, my year has been daring. It has been challenging. It has been interesting. Yeah, and I'm still excited regardless. I think everybody can sort of relate with just feeling like the year has been pretty rough like just as a working person really and especially as like an entrepreneur just you know the whole world has just been going crazy <laughs> so I would say it's been rough but it's um, been it's been an interesting lesson I mean I think this was the first year like fully after COVID. I think the highlight of this year was kind of getting back to like being able to travel and not being like on some form of lockdown and stuff like that. And I, um, over the past two years, I'd mainly been doing like talks and stuff online. So I got to like go back to actually giving a talk in person, which was really interesting. It really just felt like almost getting back to normal life and just being able to travel. For my birthday, I went to the Seychelles, which was really cool. It was like, um, yeah, I was thinking of, I just wanted somewhere that was like a nice, warm, like island type of thing. And, um, I, I don't know, we're looking, we're obviously looking at places that as a Nigerian you can go to without visa. <laughs> so that already limits the amount of places you can go. But yeah, it was really nice. And like, um, it's one of those places I think I'd like to go back to again. And it was just very good vibes this year i really saw a lot of women like get into tech so even when i look on the on my tl you know i see a lot of women getting into tech and even more especially like women also like winning like um awards you know that's why even people of my level like i have uh, two years experience so I see people at my level, you know, getting those recognitions that they deserve. So that's a lot of what I saw, the highlights, the first highlight I saw this year. We closed that series A, so that was exciting. So yeah, that was the highlight of my year. Definitely, we closed, we finished fundraising, that was amazing. One would be that, you know, maybe in similar man manner, right, obviously we're still alive and kicking as a company. Um, the other is that, you know, we're also able to hire like really key roles in the team and attracts like great talent. You know, I'm excited about that. Um, another would be obviously like we raised our round, especially in, the, in this market. <laughs> so I'm excited that we were able to double down and just do the work now. Um, and then you know, we felt we won our first award this year <laughs> as a company, so that was exciting too. A very big win is the fact that I'm still employed at this point with everything that is happening. On a normal day, it'll just be like a random thing. Like, you know how you say eh, that you're employed is a random thing and that you got a promotion is the big win. 
Right now, to be employed is the win. Getting my book deal as well with one of the biggest publishers in the world is also a big win for me. Oh yeah, another very big win is that I got into Stanford GSB. I don't know why I forgot about that. Now it seems like a random thing. It's not. It's a big win. For like me personally, my biggest win for 2022 was that we launched in Ghana. So we launched in a new, in a different African country. That was exciting. And it was like a big win for me because something we've been working on for a very long time. You know, one of uh, my recognitions is I'm a GitHub star. And GitHub stars okay. are people um, that, you know, are that have been selected by GitHub that are inspiring, influencing their local community. To be honest, I've not had any low points this year. However, like in like everybody, I've been burned down. Like I have, I've had like you know times when I've had burnout, or I've been tired and stressed. But like I've had low times this year, but that's been in my personal life, and these are things that I wouldn't necessarily talk about in public. So I think it's it's been a great year for me in like you know my profession and you know career wise and stuff. It's not everything that I can share, I guess, but um, a couple would be. I mean, we've lost some major deals that we we're hoping for, um, and then we lost some key members of the team to either Jaffa or to they just got a better gig so <laughs> I don't know if I would mention one particular thing I just think the general vibe <laughs> um, has has been pretty rough I think just knowing that other people are going through like tough times as well so it's hard to also see like other friends and colleagues that I know that also running their businesses also like struggling i'm trying to think okay which of them which of them stands out as biggest because a lot I, I think um i got a lot of so i i would i would categorize it into rejections the one that like the one that went into my soul the one that pierced my heart <laughs> was so i was supposed to travel visa visa issues right i was supposed to travel to dublin for a conference to speak at the conference and um, there was a visa delay and eventually a denial. Then another one, I was supposed to go to the US for like three conferences in a row. And these conferences would give me the opportunity to see like, to give my keynote. I gave, I, I gave a keynote, um, the first keynote in Q1 and there was another one like in Q4. So the, the, the traveling for this conference, it was in the US, you know, fully funded. Everything was already booked. Right, so um, traveling would give me give me the opportunity to meet a whole lot of people. I was going to speak at GitHub in there were three conferences, and I got the visa was rejected, and it hurt me so bad because like I was really really looking forward to it, right? And it was like everything it was like my whole world was crumbling literally, right? Um, summing up with all the other rejections I've gotten from my like, jobs and all that stuff. So, um, what's my biggest loss in 2022? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of my biggest loss that I want to share with the whole, <laughs> with the whole world. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Like I was saying, I want to share, but like, I don't know. I've had like a, something has like stuck out as like really, as like super bad that happened this year, to be honest. Like not even just saying that, like it's been an, it's been an all right year, to be honest. There hasn't been any like. That might be because like the past two, two years before we're so full of everything. This year I'm just like grateful, and happy to be alive, and taking each day as it comes. Really. Oh, interesting. <laughs> um, like a real gift, or like I can wave a magic wand and like Bitcoin goes to hundred k or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think one bitcoin going to like something crazy because that would just solve a lot of problems because i'll just wake up and like millions of dollars just appears in my account <laughs> so but i guess i don't know realistically a good gift for me is like always related to like travel or something or an experience so if anybody wants to give me something you can buy me like a flight somewhere <laughs> you can dm me on twitter and <laughs> A perfect Christmas gift for me. <laughs> wow, billions. And maybe a second trip because I stepped out of my house yesterday and I realized, I mean, I've always known that Lagos is stressful, but 
I slept at my house yesterday. There was traffic because of the, um, you know, the fuel scarcity. So there's like queues in the filling station. So there was like traffic that did not allow me drive out of my estate. Hmm. <laughs> Does it have to be related to death? Because <laughs> it doesn't. Hmm. I love hair. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a. If you go to my Instagram, it's just like different hair vendors. So I love hair. I love books. Like I, I recently said actively reading. Right, so I said reading, so I love books, African literature, fiction, novel. So, but hair is my top one, then, then books. Ooh, from who? A hundred million dollars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not greedy, so you guys, someone has sent me a hundred million. See, I'm not even greedy, I'm not asking for a lot, just a hundred million dollars. Um, so yeah, that'll be fantastic. Um, but, you know, being a little less being you know less ambitious should we say probably like a really nice holiday away so just a really nice super relaxing like week off so that'll like mean you have to get nobody in bamboo to message me nobody <laughs> turn off my phone turn off my email i just like a really really nice luxurious holiday it would be lovely boy 100 million dollars but more preferred definitely <laughs> For next year, I really, really hope that we see, you know, a lot more women come into the space, um, especially women who are um, solving problems, right? Um, that they get uh, both the courage and the funding needed to be able to go after, like, the problems that they're passionate about. And, and for the entire tech ecosystem, I, uh, I really wish and hope <laughs> that 2023 becomes the year where, you know, we have a lot more good news than bad news. First thing I want to say that I wish for this entire ecosystem is stability. And then the next thing I want to say is growth. And I said stability before growth because it's, I wouldn't want to wish someone growth on a rocky foundation. That can be disastrous, right? So stability first and then growth. Growth means that, you know, would have more startups, hopefully more exits, hopefully more people jack buying, hopefully as more people jack by, other people that are already in Nigeria grow into roles that these people already left, right? So like growth basically all around. One thing I would like to see definitely is more female software engineers i'm seeing more women flooding tech recently generally but i'm seeing more women in the non-technical bits of tech which is fantastic which is great but i'd like to see more women like me i'd like to see more women engineers i'd like to sit down and be chatting about devops with more women in the room as opposed to being the token the only girl in the room filled with guests in general obviously i wish that things get a bit more stable and you know just the ecosystem generally makes a recovery um specifically for women i would say i think like having a good support system is really important particularly for like underrepresented groups like women so i think like especially in this period where people are having to like you know go out looking for new jobs and stuff and traditionally women are um less willing to do stuff like you know negotiations and things like that so having like that support system to really like say okay what are you earning here like what should i ask for that type of thing is really important i think for for next year you know i i shared a lot of that like i want men to put themselves out there it's it's really really important like be your own um, be your own advocate, right? A lot of times I did that for myself, right? To where nobody was seen because if you do your work inside and nobody sees it, it's hard for people to recommend you. I've gotten like a lot of recommendations this year, like even from speaking events, from job, like contract, um, freelance related contracts. So I've gotten a lot of recognition. So I really love to see more women put themselves out there. For the entire tech ecosystem, more wins. Just, you know, hopefully a year full of wins because, you know, 2022 was generally hard and 2023 seems to be shaping up to be another hard year. But just hoping that people find ways to 
win in whatever ways they need and like you know get more positive outcomes so be it growth revenue you know users fundraising just whatever companies need whatever the ecosystem with needs for wins just yeah more wins generally and i mean obviously i wish the same thing for women in tech more wins but i also generally also wish a lot more growth for women in tech across the various spectrum